Well, hello there, Littlefoot Adventures. I don't know if you watched our last video or not when we were camping, and I had mentioned that we've been working on a secret project back at the house. Well, here it is. This one here is called Littlefoot. And I keep the theme going. There you go. But this is just a regular old paddle boat that I had purchased off the marketplace. And I decided to modify it. And I'm sure you can tell from other videos I've done in the past that I can't leave things alone. I like to modify them to my liking. And so it's done the way I want it to be. So, <clears throat> speaking of modifying, as you can see, the paddles are gone and it's sealed off. But if you look up here in the front, <clears throat> you'll notice a junction box. And what that junction box does is now controls my trolling motor, which is back here that I installed. Let's go around the back and I'll show you. So there it is. On this trolling motor, there's also a sensor right here, and that's a sonar. And if you notice the wire coming off the sonar, goes up inside this PVC tubing. That tubing runs underneath the boat, all the way down to the front of the boat. up under here and back up. So that's completely sealed. And the reason why I've done that, <clears throat> two reasons. Number one, I didn't want wires dangling across the top of the boat. I didn't, wire, didn't want to feed wiring through the shell of the boat. So I decided to mount it under the boat and it's all sealed. It's not going anywhere, and all my wiring for this boat is in that piping, which is three quarter inch tubing. So, from the back of the boat, all the way to the front of the boat, I fed wire to the fish finder. And that little sonar that you see on the trolling motor runs the fish finder. Also, powers the motor. So this is five speeds going forward, two speeds going reverse, and then that's the off. Now, anybody that knows trolling motors, they know that they don't come like this. And for me to do this, it was a lot of head scratching and figuring things out, but I was able to do it. You might be asking what that rocker switch is. That rocker switch turns this on. I'm talking about that switch right there. That turns that off and on. Don't need it. I said, why not? Let's make it fancy. But I basically took apart the top of the trolling motor that it came with when I bought the trolling motor and dismantled it and took the switch assembly out and mounted it inside this box so I can uh, control the speeds of the boat from here. So as you look across the boat, you'll see no wires whatsoever except for here. Right here is where the battery sits. And these wires here run down in there that, that run the propeller motor on the trolling boat motor. There's also a knob here so when you get to the lake you unscrew this knob and this telescopically goes down into the water to make power the boat. You may also notice these here. Paddle boats norm normally don't come with these. I installed those as well and that they are is waterproof cubby holes and you turn the top and it has a bag inside where you can store stuff 
the bag is removable if you need to take it out and wash it or clean it. So these are completely waterproof. There's one on the rear of the passenger side. And there's also one on the driver's side. I guess there is no driver's side of the paddle boat because you steer from right there. Also on each side of the boat, you'll notice we have rod holders and rod holders on each side. The boat also did not have the cup holders here. It was right here and those just are not going to work for us. So I bought these cup holders from Walmart and I countersunk them into the body of the boat. The steering actually controls which way the trolling motor is going to go. So if I turn this, you'll see the steering moves on the boat. And to do that, I had to bore this out and put some one inch thin wall PVC piping in order for this to be able to smoothly roll back and forth and able to be lowered and raised into the water. The linkage is a custom made linkage. So it's just held on with the hose clamp. It's on there very tightly. Also, if you notice here where I put the, uh, the, the kit in that I made, it's all siliconed off. I also drilled a hole right there and shot this thing full of expandable foam so that it's not going anywhere, it's sturdy. The boat also did not come with this canopy. The canopy was purchased off of uh, Amazon and I installed that as well. It's a great canopy, it's a nice looking canopy and it goes completely across the whole top of the boat. So you have plenty of shade when you're out on the water. These here, the uh, mats are a yoga mat that I purchased from Goodwill. And I cut them up to fit the size. They are just double back taped down. So if the mat gets worn out, I can rip that off and uh, buy a new mat and glue that down. Also, we have foam holders on each side, one for my wife and one for myself. You got your anchor, so when you're fishing, you can anchor it. Down here, I also installed grip tape. That was a request from my wife, so when she was to get in and out of the boat, she won't slip. On the side, I also added these hooks, and those hooks serve a couple purposes. Number one, it's going to be allow us to tie off to a dock um, if you want to get it out of the boat. Also, the anchor can uh, hang off of there. So when we're uh, in a spot where we want to fish for a while, we can anchor off. Also, I bought a stringer. I believe it's in this side. I have to check. It might be on the other side. But I bought a stringer, and the stringer can hook on here, and then whatever catch fish you catch will just dangle into the water and and float along with the boat. These fishing rod holders, I got these on Amazon. Um, they're nice, but. They're also removable, so you can take them off when you're not using them. You can also disconnect them and move them to different positions on the boat. So if you want your rod to go off that way or forward or off to the side this way, you can do that as well. <clears throat> and you can tilt forward or reverse on these as well. So when I'm fishing, I have places for four different rods to go on the boat. Um, 
I do have a very large battery. It's a 65 pound battery that's gonna go in here. It's gonna give me, I think like 100 amp hours on, on the water, which is way more than I need. Um, the boat will be going down to the fishing game because once you install a motor on a paddle boat here in Arizona, you have to register it because it's no longer a paddle boat, it is considered a motor boat. So uh, I will be taking this down to the end of the month to uh, get it registered. And I think it's $25 a year, so it's really cheap. So anyway, on that note, the trailer that this boat is sitting on, I purchased that trailer off of Facebook Market. I got the trailer for $250. And the guy I got it from was a big fan of uh, John Deere tractors. And as you can see, the wheels itself are John Deere colors. Those wheels are normally white. And after I've gone through this trailer and modified it the way I want it to be, I noticed that this guy spent a lot of money painting this trailer because I think he actually powder coated the frame. And those wheels are painted on both sides nice. So either he powder coated those or he did a really good job of painting them. It was uh, a stake bed trailer, had another tier on top of that. What I did is I cut off a tier and then I carpeted it so it would be nice and soft for the boat to lay on. Also, if you look inside the trailer, you'll see there's a couple boards going across there. I added those later on and those are removable. So the good thing about that is if I don't want to use this trailer for the boat and say I want to go down to pick up hardware, I can throw plywood on this thing. Um, <clears throat> also, if my wife wants to pick up some plants from the store, she can throw those in the back of the trailer. Um, I did also add a brand new wiring harness on this trailer. The harness that was on there was pretty old. And I upgraded it to LEDs, so they're nice and bright. So, once again, this is my newest and latest and greatest toy. And I'm sure like everything else in this world that I touch or get my hands on, I'm never done with my projects and I'm gonna probably keep adding on to this thing till I have no more room to put anything. Uh, after I take it down the fishing game, they're probably going to say, hey, you need this, you need that, and then I'll probably have to go get this and that, so in order for it to be legal on the lake. But uh, never had it in the water yet. Can't wait to see how this performs. I did hook up the battery. Everything's functioning properly the way it should. The switch is working properly. It controls the motor, the speeds. It goes up to five different speeds and forward. And I think three in reverse, it's a 30 pound uh, motor. Um, and the reason why I went with 30 pound, cause I did some research on them and they have, I think uh, up to a 50 pound motor, but the speed limit was like a mile per hour difference between a 50 and a 30 and the 30 was way cheaper than the 50. So do the math, it's, it's, it's easier to just go with 30 and this is not a very heavy boat i mean it's very lightweight so i am also going to be adding one more of these hooks here uh up here towards the front um so when you deploy the boat off the trailer uh you'll have a rope to hold on to so your boat doesn't float away and you can just pull the boat back in I got the rope, I just gotta go to Walmart and pick up the hook so I can install that. But yeah, that's the new toy, Little Fin, we call it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We are trying to grow and 
trying to make something out of this channel. We are currently in the 400 range as far as subscribers go. And if you like content like this, then you're in the right place. Uh, I'm a very handy person and I like to tinker with stuff. So as you'll see, like I said, in my other channels, you see my camper. I've messed with so many different things and modified so many different things on it that uh, the boat's going to be the same way. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll let you know. We'll shoot another video once we hit the lake with this boat so you guys can see it in action. So um, once again, thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.